Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, we need to talk some more. I didn't plan on doing another one of these so soon. I'm not going to let it drop, but I just, I felt like I got out everything I needed to say, but it turns out there's more that I need to say. First of all, a huge thank you. This is such a sensitive topic. You know what we're talking about here, the allegations of what went on. And then um, I brought it up in the last video about this, the one about this subject, about how allegedly Harry and Meghan were warned about these awful abuses that happened. And it sounds like they're alleging that they were made aware in May 2023, again, about the time of the near catastrophic car chase. And normally I joke about that, but I'm so serious about this. I really, I really want to talk about this. Something else that has come up and, and I feel like I was able to make more clear points in the last video. Thank you again to everybody who was so kind and reached out and said you felt the same way and you're just so glad that we're discussing it. I feel the same way. And again, I'm I'm truly disgusted by the pair of them. The thing that I didn't say that I'm kicking myself about and so many of you guys brought up in the comments and thank you, you're brilliant. I, I wish I had thought of it, but um, here we go. Look at this. Okay, well, first of all, Again, I pointed out in the last video that there was a statement made by somebody at Archwell. Don't get me started on that. Um, and it was just, to me, one of the all-time worst statements. I mean, it, you talk about passing the buck, avoiding responsibility. Here you go. So the statement by his person said, when, the, when, when he became aware of, of these serious allegations, he immediately escalated them to CEO and chairman of the board of African Parks, the appropriate people to handle the next steps. I'll remind you, a quick Google search shows that he has been part of this system since 2016 and became president in 2017. I've said this in every video and I'll say it again here. I'm Nobody is accusing Harry of committing these acts. What we're accusing him of is not acting on it, passing it on, to somebody else, blaming somebody else, when you are president, and I know he's no longer president, I believe it was around May that it's reported that he was moved to the board. Some people call it a promotion. I do not. Regardless, he is on the board of this organization. It is his job to know. That is exactly the point I made in the last video. It stands here. But again, these are allegations. Nobody's accusing them because some people are getting confused in the comments of personally committing these atrocious acts. We are talking about what they did with the information. And I say they because, again, it's being alleged that Megan, it was addressed to Megan as well. I know other YouTubers have read things out that say that it was addressed to Megan as well. Okay, so these were points I made in the last video. The point I want to make in this one is this. Think about the Oprah of it all. And and beyond that, even I, I'm specifically thinking about the Anderson Cooper interview that Harry did after the Oprah interview, I know it's hard to keep them straight. They've done so many Oprah, or <laughs> so, so many interviews. Okay. I want to draw your attention to this. Their own quotes, his own quotes from these. And again, he's accusing the royal family of things, which we have proven. We've talked about the lies, the separate videos for that. We've proven that they're full of crap. We know this. Okay. But let me use his own quotes here and think about it in terms of what we're finding out now and how he essentially did nothing. Yes, he says he passed the information along, but did you speak out about it? I don't think so. Why are we just learning about this now? And I know some people knew, but I'm saying, why, why is the general public just learning about this now when you're off accepting awards and, and using, I put it out in the last video, he used this position even in accepting these awards. And so many of you pointed out yeah, let's see how Megan does accepting her next feminism award while ignoring the atrocities that have brought been brought to their attention, allegedly. All right, let's talk quotes from them. And again, this was in regards to the royal family stuff, but I think it applies here, right? Remember that he said the firm's complicity went far beyond their silence. Okay, so by your logic, Harry, wouldn't this make you complicit? because it's going far beyond your silence. You didn't use your position in any way to help these people or maybe to even prevent future awful, atrocious attacks toward women. There's a quote here 
from Anderson Cooper. Remember he went on Anderson Cooper? He says, quote, there becomes a point when silence is betrayal. Again, I'd say we're there. You can say these things about the royal family, and yet here we are. I'm just so frustrated. I'm so disgusted by them. They can say these things, and and in my opinion, the made-up allegations, I'm talking about of Harry and Meghan, and the things that they've accused the royal family of, we've proven so many lies out of their mouth, yet here we are with actual atrocities going on toward these people, and yet nothing. Silence. So again, I'd use his quote against them and say, there becomes a point when silence is betrayal. I'd say we're at that point. We're past that point. Where were you last May? I also want to remind you that he calls for there to be accountability. And he's talking again about the royal family and and their silence on the absurd accusations by Harry and Meghan. Okay. Again, if we're if we're holding you, Harry, to your own standards, where's your accountability? All right. Sky News talking about a quote from Harry saying, I guess Harry said, the silence is deafening, to put it mildly. Again, talking about the royal family and what they're accusing them of. But I'm saying, <laughs> I mean, a, hypocrisy to its finest. You can't make this stuff up. He's saying silence is deafening. I'd say silence is deafening. And it doesn't just apply to this case. It applies to Endgame as a whole. Silence is deafening, Harry. Major operations of your family. Silence is deafening, Harry. Human atrocities going on. This is just a whole nother level of horribleness. The silence is deafening, Harry. And again, I'd like to point your attention to this one. This is in um, Vogue, and he's quoted as saying, you can always say, I didn't know about this, but have you done anything to stop it? The answer is no. That's a direct quote. Have you done anything to stop this, Harry? The answer is no. It's just more hypocrisy, if you ask me. They're more interested in what award they're being given or possibly buying They're more interested in who they're getting their photographs made with and using these, you know, these parks and things to feather their resumes to try to get these awards than actually, I don't know, doing something. This was their chance. The letter was written to them, allegedly, and they sat on it. Well, Harry says he passed it along, but come on, you're on the board You were president, and then you're on the board. You have a responsibility. Why didn't he speak out? Why isn't he speaking out now? I don't call this speaking out. I'd say this is putting out a half-assed, I don't know, statement through somebody at Archwell. It's just, I mean, it's not that I expect any different, but I'm just showing you, again, the level of um, awfulness that we're dealing with here. Again, guys, Thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. Your comments are wonderful and um, you mean so much to me. And you know, as more stuff like this comes out, I will continue to talk about it. As always, these are allegations. These are my opinions. Go with me on this. (laughs) I'm just so frustrated. It's just, it's so much. I, you know, it's one thing to see them act ridiculous and, and, you know, try to get awards and sit in theater seats folded up in ball gowns, but this is something different. This is, this is dark and horrible. And so many of you pointed out in the comments, in our opinion, had it been something that, um, you know, one of Williams charities and he had been made aware he would have been on that plane. He would have been speaking out about it. And yet nothing, nothing from these two, except for some half-assed, I don't know, comment, trying to pass the buck. Unbelievable. Awful. Anyway, guys, thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if there's a quote I missed. I always kick myself as soon as I'm done recording because I think it's something else I should have said. And in this case, it was these quotes. Thank you to everybody who reminded me of the existence of some of these quotes. I really appreciate you so much. I hope you all have the best day. And uh, I'm sending you hugs and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.